Hello and welcome to the Melge Gaming YouTube channel. I have been inundated with questions and requests about how I managed to get my RGB lighting set up to be controlled by my Twitch chat. Here's an idea of what it looks like live on stream. Interesting. A Radiant gifting a tier one sub to RQ, the Red Queen. Feels so weird. Hey, see. thanks for the green, Rhino. Uno momento, por favor. My PC is apparently lagging a little bit. And uh, Stummy, welcome to Tanium and Star. Oh, some biddies. Stummy with 100 biddies and triggering them rainbow lights. Appreciate you, man. It's an awesome feature and people really seem to enjoy coming in and playing with the lights and the overlays. I think it's got something to do with the feeling of power of being able to control someone's lights from half the world away, but nonetheless, it's a great little feature. There's not too many people doing it right now and it's a great way to set yourself apart from other streamers in the sea of channels on Twitch. Now the program that I use to do this is a serious bit of kit and it's capable of doing a lot more than what we're going to be looking at today. So of course it can control and trigger lighting. It can also control and trigger parts of OBS. It can control and power on or off smart plugs and appliances connected to them. And it can even send MIDI triggers, which if you have the know-how means you could theoretically have it trigger things like a smoke machine. Today we're just going to be looking at the lighting aspect of the program. If it seems to be a popular video then we may consider going back and diving into more detail on some of the other features. Now the program I am talking about is Lumia Stream. Lumia Stream is the key to connecting your lights and overlays to your Twitch chat and having them be interactive. Once you understand this program, you can really harness it to customize your stream. Now, it's worth noting that there is a free version of Lumia Stream available, uh, but there is also some great features included with the premium version, including being able to have your lights controlled via your Twitch channel points and also setting up variations for different kinds of alerts. I use the premium version, so some of the stuff that we cover in this video will be for premium users only. If you look below in the description, there's an affiliate link that will take you to the Lumia website. Now, if you use this link, not only will you be helping me out, but you'll also get a 20% discount on your first subscription period. So if you sign up for a monthly recurring subscription, you'll save 20% off your first month. But if you sign up for a full year, then you'll save 20% off of the whole year as well. So scroll down into the description, click the link, it will take you to Lumia's website. When you get there, click the download button in the top right hand corner. Select your platform, Windows or Mac, and the download will start. Once the download is completed, run the installation. And once the installation is completed, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. So go ahead and log in. Lumia will ask you to connect to your streaming platform. And for me, that's Twitch. This will open a web page which you'll need to use to authorize Lumia via Twitch. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen like this. Now I use Streamlabs to track my donations and alerts. So here we select Streamlabs. And again, you will need to authorize this via a web browser. The next page will show you options for services such as TP or Tiltify. I don't use any of these. So we just scroll to the bottom and click next. Now this screen's the important one. It's where you select the lights that Lumia will be controlling. It's compatible with Philips Hue, Nanoleaf, LiFX, TP-Link and more. I use Hue Light, so I select Hue and click Next. Now you need to press the connect button on the Hue bridge for Lumia to pick up your lights. Once you press that, you'll see this screen which shows you all of your lights on your network. You want to click Add to each light and click Save. This next page allows you to connect any additional devices to Lumia. I use Lumia to control my Razer keyboard, mouse and mouse map. So here I select Razer and click next. It'll ask me which peripherals I want to connect. I select the relevant ones and click submit. And that's the basic connections done. Welcome to the Lumia home screen. This home screen has three main features an on off button, which is useful for resetting Lumia without exiting, a log of commands received and executed by Lumia and the settings wheel. Click on the settings wheel to get into the heart and soul of Lumia. 
Now this screen can look very overwhelming and there is a lot of things that you can do inside Lumia, but today we're just focusing on getting your lights to be interactive. When you go to devices and hue, you should see all of your lights there. Test each of them by clicking on the small icon above and to the right of each light and make sure that each light responds to the test. Now that the hue lights are connected and working, we need to configure Lumia the way we want to. So we start by going to default and here you will be able to set the default state of your lights, i.e. the state that they will be in when you first launch Lumia. I personally set this to do nothing and I also set my lights to turn off when Lumia is closed. I personally turn off the always revert to default state option. It's up to you if you want to leave this on or not. Obviously, if you set your default type to be a color and set it to say blue, anytime a command is triggered, it will revert back to blue afterwards. I don't want that, so I turn it off, but it's up to you if you'd like to leave it on. Next, we're gonna look at the queue option. Here we can decide if user commands go into a queue if they're triggered in quick succession. Note that there are two different queues, an alert queue for follows, subs, and and such, and a chat queue used for chat issued commands. I personally have both queues turned off as I utilize cooldowns instead. If you don't turn on queues, then commands issued in quick succession will override whatever's going on right now and immediately play the most recently triggered command, unless you have cooldowns switched on. To turn on cooldowns, go to chat, cooldowns, and turn the cooldown on. Set the duration of the cooldown. I have mine set to 10 seconds, meaning Lumia will receive a command, trigger it, and then ignore any further commands for the next 10 seconds. You can also set a bypass for particular users, whether they're followers, subscribers, or your moderators as well. And that's the basic configuration that I have in place before I start setting up my colored lighting. Now that we're getting into the heart of Lumia, the studio. The studio is the base or the core of anything that's custom that you're going to do inside of Lumia. If you want to create an alert for when you get a new follower, you'll first create the reaction or animation in studio and then select it within the alert. There's lots of options with studio, but we're only interested in reactions for the time being. Reactions allow you to create a sequence with your lights, either changing between various colors, flashing, strobing, and more. The reactions I use are police, rainbow, and flash. Police is set to change rapidly between red and blue lights. Rainbow cycles quickly between all colors, and flash turns the lights on and off a few times. So if we have a look at rainbow, you can see there's various slots within the reaction. Each slot is set to its own color. These colors can be changed or removed or added Added at your will. In the settings tab, you'll be able to set how long the whole reaction lasts and how long it takes to transition between slots. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Studio allows you to create animations, reactions and more, but it's not where your chat will trigger them. Your chat triggers are listed in the chat section of Lumia. Click chat and then colors. Note that there is no corresponding Studio option for colors as they are not animated or alive in any way. It's just a simple change of color. No flashing, no dancing. You'll see that Lumia comes with eight predefined colors for you, each named accordingly. The name of the color is what your chat need to type in to trigger a color change. You'll see that you can select which users are able to trigger the command by selecting or deselecting the relevant user types below the command. You can add an additional custom color by clicking in the top right, choose your color and name it anything that you like. The name of the color will be the same command that users will have to type in to trigger it. So here we're gonna select a horrible nasty green color and we're going to call it horrible green. And then if somebody wanted to trigger this, they would need to type in exclamation mark horrible green. Obviously you want to set that user list as required. You can also turn on or off any individual color and set the brightness. Once you've configured these colors to be as you want them, i.e. only allowing them for followers or subscribers or for everybody, then you're good to go in terms of having chat controlled lighting. But we can go further. The way I have my lights configured is so that only subscribers can use chat commands. So we remove the everyone follower and regular options from the command, meaning only subscribers and moderators can trigger using chat commands. Well, what about everybody else? For followers and non-subscribers, I've set up channel point redemptions. Under chat points, you can configure your lights to be controlled via channel point redemptions. 
You need to make sure that you turn on the listen option at the top so that Lumia is paying attention to your channel point redemptions. You should turn on the is alert option to ensure that channel points can't be instantly overridden by chat commands. You want to turn on global points rules as it's much easier to configure. Your points type should be set to direct. And direct means that users don't have to type anything in, they just select the channel point reward that they want and Lumia will trigger the lights as long as you've named your channel points correctly. Your channel point name needs to be the same as the command you want to trigger in Lumia. So blue for blue, green for green and police for police and so on. You can turn on rewards only, meaning chat commands won't work, but we don't want to do that. Congratulations, you now have chat controlled RGB lighting. But we can go further. Below chat, you have alerts. Go to alerts, Twitch, follows. Here you can set what will happen with your lights when you get a new follower. Turn on listen for follows and select whether you want Lumia to listen to Twitch directly or Streamlabs. I find Streamlabs to be more reliable, so that's what I use. Now you can select the type of command that will trigger when you get a new follower, whether that be a reaction, an animation, or one of the other options. I use a reaction. Now remember how you create reactions in studio, this is where you can now select them to be used. Once you've chosen your type, you'll be able to choose from a drop down menu which command you want to trigger when you receive a follow. For me, that's flash. The configuration button allows you to select what color you want the lights to flash and you can add a duration to select how long it will go on for. You can follow the same process for subs, bits, hosts and raids. You can also do the same for Streamlabs donations, merch sales and so on. And that's it, you now have RGB lighting that can be controlled by chat, by channel point and will also trigger alerts for when you receive new followers or subscriptions depending on how you've set it up. We have only scratched the surface of what Lumia Stream is capable of. And if you really take the time to understand it, you can harness it and incorporate so many features into your stream. Before we wrap up the video, I just wanna let you know that there's a few resources down below in the description area. We'll have a link to the Lumia Stream School where they talk you through various features of the Lumia Stream program. I'll also put a link into the Lumia Stream Discord support server where you can drop in and ask any questions that you have and there's an excellent support team there to help you out. If you do decide that you're going to integrate this RGB lighting into your stream, please make sure that you let me know so that I can come by and check it out. I'd love to see what other ideas people have come up with for ways to utilize Lumia. As always, if there's anything that's not quite been clear or described very well, then please let me know in the comments so that I can address it for you and let me know if you'd be interested in hearing about some of the more complex features that Lumia has to offer. As always, make sure that you subscribe, like and turn on notifications to get notified when future videos go live. And thanks for watching.